What is up guys, it's you here, bringing you another live reaction on Eden Zero. I do want to say before I even get into anywhere, that it is storming outside, so I do apologize if you guys hear some thunder. Uh, it's been like this the last couple of days, so I, again, I do apologize if any of that noise is distracting. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, previously in the last chapter, we had... Uh, both Shiki and Rebecca kind of, you know, getting on to this planet, meeting other people, and they're trying to find this professor guy. Turns out that they find this other dude who basically has a gun at them and basically saying, you know, why are you here? And then we have a time kind of skip to like 2,000 years, and we see like bones or at least the remains of Shiki and Rebecca. So that, that was really weird the way they end that chapter, but hopefully we get some answers in this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, my name is Zhao Mai, Zhao Mi. Someday you will know more about who I am, okay? For now, think of me as a story's narrator. Last chapter, we jumped ahead to uh, 20,000 years. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, 20,000 years. Don't read too much into it. You see, in this story, time doesn't mean much, okay? Interesting. I like the uh, image of Rebecca here. All right. Oh, and it gives us a recap. Wow, I should just read the recap instead of telling you guys. Previously on Ed and Zero, Happy and I went to the planet Grand Bell to film a video, and we met a boy. Nice to meet you, Shiki. Yeah, we decided to travel through space to find Mother, the goddess of the cosmos, but we don't have a ship that will go that far. On our quest for a ship, came to a planet Norma where we plan to get help from a man we can always count on, Professor Weiss. Alright, thanks for the recap. That really recaps the last four chapters, honestly. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, like, like we said, we want to see Professor Wise. I see. You work for Cyber? Cyber? If you leave now, I'll let you walk out alive. Um, this is Professor Wise's house, isn't it? Get out, Rebecca. Wait a minute. He puts on his goggles. There's somebody upstairs. You, those goggles. Upstairs. Some kind of random gunshots going on here. What in the cosmos is going on? Shaky's moving up. What? Gravity fist. Interesting. So Shiki's punching through ceilings. Hey, what's happening? You folks are working with Wise, eh? Then give him a message. So apparently this is the attacker. When one betrays us, Cyber, the Almighty, will make them pay. You think this is funny? Oh my gosh, she, he's laughing at him. I mean, threatening me when you're buck naked? Oh, well. So apparently it's Cyber. Whoever Cyber is. <sighs> okay. So, this is kind of weird. Mm-hmm. We came here to see the professor and ask him to lend us a ship, but he's not at his house, and then some weirdo attacks us. And he shows a picture of Wise, who's an old man, which I think he just probably made himself young. It's a possibility. He may have just rejuvenated himself. Yeah, even Shiki, like, doesn't he look a little like the other guy? Maybe he invented an age reversal drug. See, now that's what I was talking about. Happy's on to what I was saying. And, and it made him young, but it took his memories away, too. It, it, and even Shiki's like, that sounds totally legit. And it does. It's a very possible thing, you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Okay. Let's see. On the next... On the... On to our next news story. I don't know why I said that. Blue Garden, a planet known for uh, attracting immigrants, has just seen the birth of a new adventurer's guild. This new guild, Shooting Starlight, has already brought in several adventurer members, and with them, high hopes for blazing new trails through space. Hey, that's our guild. I didn't know it was brand new. It was 50 years ago. Professor Wise... So it's a flashback somehow, okay. 
How have you been? Mm. Oh. They wanted to. They wanted to be together with him. I guess because uh, father figure. This planet is dying. It's too fragile a home for young folks like you. Okay, that was kind of a random flashback. What? What did that? What? What meaning did it have? I knew it. The cars are old models, and all the town machines are outdated. We're in a world of 50 years ago. This is normal. 50 years in the past. So they went back in time instead of going ahead of time in this situation. We did a time slip. Huh. So I went back... 50 years ago. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that something had to go. They went back in time. So this like the this so that man, the man we saw was Professor Wise. He's when he was young. So instead of them, okay, that I should have realized that at the beginning of the chapter when it said that time means nothing. Well, it could have also been that instead of drug, you know, they took some kind of drug to make himself young. They just went back in time. Okay, now it makes sense. Rebecca's freaking out. She doesn't know what to do. First, we need a live stream. Our views will be through the roof. Yes, that's exactly what you need to do at a time like this. When you don't know what's going on, you need to live stream it. Because 50 years ago, you had so many viewers. Uh, we can't connect to the net. It's what you'd call a time paradox, so we can't mess with the uh, professor because it would mess up time. <sighs> that means no live streams either. Rumble, rumble. A weird ass robot. There they are. Those are the kids working with Wise. What do we do, great cyber? You know, it isn't right to take things, don't you? Wise took my money. If you're with him, and you're just as guilty as he is. Is Professor Y stole from you? He's actually Professor Thief. <laughs> this is I'm not giving it this is mine. I'm not giving it to anyone. And I'll never let that low life cyber have it. Okay, a weird chapter overall. Um Don't know really what to say about it, because it's kinda like we're, we're with the whole time slip or skip, whatever you want to call it, where they went back in time. They realize this once they read, look at the news, and Rebecca's flipping out, and there's this enemy, apparently, named Cyber, who has something to do with Weiss. So, what's the beef? What is it that, uh, that uh, Weiss is hiding? And why is there a giant Megazord going to be attacking Rebecca and Shiki? So... It's and the chapter is okay. It's not what I expected, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. Hopefully next week we get some more understanding as to how they got there and why they got there. But before I end the video, guys, just briefly, I made a video yesterday about fairy tale. Today, the twenty fifth, it was released the hundred year quest. In other words, the spin off series is out. So uh, I'm trying to find if you guys can find it and you guys. And link it down great uh, I may or may excuse me I may or may not review it but I'm definitely going to be reading it but let me know what you guys think if you guys want me to review it if not that's cool but definitely I'm going to be reading it so just wanted to ask you guys if you were interested in watching that but guys that is it for me hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys did please leave it a like comment if I forgotten something and subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you guys are always up to date with where I am but guys, like always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.